Okay, so now let us proceed to self-build e-invoice. Okay, so for self-build e-invoice, it's related to payments to agents, dealer, and distributors, or goods sold or service rendered for foreign sellers, profit distributions, e-commerce transactions, payout to all betting and gaming winners, and etc. Okay, and then for self-build e-invoice, the general concept. So, uh, in AutoCount, we have new self-build function, which is under e-invoice, and then you can select self-build e-invoice. Okay. And then for self-build invoice, you also have the save as trust, approve, approve and preview, approve and print and cancel function. Okay. And then basically for self-build, after you submit for validation, your visual representative uh, that you have get their QR code can. So make sure it is required to send to the supplier. So as the buyer required to assume the role of the supplier and issue self-build and buyer obligate to share the validated self-build to the supplier upon validation. But if the supplier is foreign seller, so you're not obligated to share the self build invoice. Only apply to local supplier. Okay. Okay. Next, uh, after you issue the self build, uh, since you need to send the e invoice, the self build e invoice to your supplier, you can review or print, which you can proceed to WhatsApp or email to your supplier. Okay. So here is the sample of self build e invoice. Okay. And then for self bill invoice, there are a few document types, which is self bill invoice, self bill credit note, self bill debit note, and self bill refund note. Okay. Okay. So before I proceed, I show you first the function e invoice. Here you got self bill. Okay. Then you click new. So you have the save as draft, approve, approve and preview, approve and print and cancel button. Okay. So uh, let's say I want to share this to my supplier. So you can click preview, full text self build or self build. Okay. Then you can send this to your supplier, which has the LHCN validated link. Okay. <coughs> 